Hello, welcome to this video. My name is David Owasi, and in this video, I'll be showing you precisely how to build your own AI agent. Basically, an AI agent is using AI to take specific actions for you outside of ChatGPT. And we're gonna be using my GPT apps to do this. Now, by the way, if you didn't see my last video, I showed you how to create a my GPT app from scratch. And in this video, we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you how to actually make these GPT apps work for you and actually put them into action so that they can do things outside of my GPTs. And that's one of the powerful things of my GPT app. So we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through uh, a, a real example, uh, a very simple example. Is what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a GPT app that helps you creating content. So we're gonna call it your content creating buddy. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, use this GPT app to create content ideas that you can then send to your writer, for example, or your content creator to then use and leverage that to create and build content for you. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this example is for me, my business, this is an actual use case for me because I have copywriters who will write articles for me on Medium and other places on the internet and even my social media posts sometimes. And I all I just need to focus on is, is coming up with the ideas of creating the content and then passing it along to them and then they will flesh out my ideas and actually use that to write an article. And using my GPT apps, I can do this process very, very efficiently. All right, let's dive in. So the first thing is um, we want to actually, uh, since I've already showed you how to build this app, uh, we're just going to create a, an app real quickly. Yes, we're just going to go into here, create, and then uh, I'm going to have the GPT builder help me with building the app. So I'm going to say, I want to create an app to uh, support me in, in creating all sorts of content. So this app will help me come up with content ideas and a rough draft that I can pass along to my team. There you go. So that's uh, that's basically what we're going to start is we're going to have the GPT help us view this app. And again, um, I'm going to go through this process real quickly. If you really want the step-by-step -step slower version, look at my previous video where I actually spent a whole bunch of time showing you how you can view the app yourself. So uh, in this case, let's see what it's saying here. So we're going to call it the content crafter. That name works for me. Absolutely. Yes. And then uh, let's see what it's saying. The recipient must be in the form of two name function. So yeah, it's building a, a profile picture for me for the app. So again, one of the cool things about my GPT apps is that it's also connected to the image generator Dali, and that helps you know, building and creating a picture. So let's uh, have it do that for us. So it's giving us an initial picture. Um, so do you like it or would like any change for the sake to keep this simple? Yes, I like it. Let's proceed. Let's proceed, right? There you go. So now we have proceeded and it says, great, let's refine the specific of how content can support your best. What kind of content do you often need out with? So for the sake of this example, we're going to focus more on writing uh, articles. So writing medium and LinkedIn articles. There you go. Now, again, you can do anything you want with this. Like, you know, you're only limited by your imaginations in terms of the types of apps you can create with my GPTs. So it's asking me what types of apps I want to create. So just for the sake of this, I'm just going to say uh, uh, um, articles on marketing. Okay, so our content crafter is all set up and ready to go. And now, uh, you know, we're able to, uh, it's, it's now working for our, our purposes. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to connect this to Zapier. If you're not familiar with Zapier, Zapier is a platform that allows us to um, connect to different apps on the internet. So there are many apps and softwares and uh, platforms, and sometimes, it, well, they can't usually talk to each other. Zapier is a really cool platform that allows us to talk to each, uh, have all of those apps and softwares speak to each other. So we're gonna, if you're not familiar with Zapier, I you want to use and do this process you have to create an account on Zapier. I have already created an account so this process will be quite simple. Now the first thing we want to do to connect our MyGPT app to Zapier is we want to go to, into this configure area and when we go into this configure area we want to make sure that we, uh, we turn on all of these capabilities and we'll click on create new actions. When we create new actions we want to do a couple of things. The first thing is we want to import from URL. So basically this is how we connect Zapier, uh, Zapier 
to my GPT apps. Now, for us to do that, we need to go to this uh, to this um, link called actions.zapier.com slash doc slash platforms slash GPT. And when we go on to here, the first thing we want to do is we want to copy this link that it's provided us here. This link is what is going to allow us to connect it into our GPT app that we've just created. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste that link I just copied and I'm going to click on import. Now, once I import that, it's going to do a few things. You don't need to worry about this. The basic thing you need to know about this is that this now gives us abilities to do what we call get post um, operations. Now, basically just allows us to send things in and outside of my gpt's programmatically and that is very very you know, important for us to be able to take actions outside of my gpt's so now that we've done that the next thing uh, you need to know is that if you want your app to be publicly available to anybody on the internet you have to create a privacy policy which means that um you basically there has to be a privacy policy for, for the sake of this example we won't do that we'll just keep this app very very simple internally and if you're curious about Zapier and some of the actions you can take, because there are literally thousands of you know, actions you can take on Zapier, all you just need to do is go on to here and you can see all the different types of examples, you know, in email, project management, you know, files and folders. There's so many things you can do with Zapier. We won't go into that for the sake of this, uh, of this exercise and this example. We're just going to keep it simple. So again, remember what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to use our app to create um, content suggestions or content ideas for our copywriters to then take and expand on to create an article. And for us to do that, we're gonna convert the ideas for the article into a Google Doc, and we're gonna send that Google Doc via Slack to my content creation team. So that's what we're gonna do to keep it simple. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is do something we'll call create AI actions. So an AI action is basically connecting uh, specific types of actions uh, on Zapier into GPT. And for us to do that, you have to go to this uh, site called actions.zapier.com slash GPT slash actions. And so we're gonna create different types of actions. So the first one we're gonna create is, we're gonna create an action that allows us to create a Google Doc. So we're gonna go Google Doc. And by the way, you can create any type of action really here. So here we're gonna go Google Doc. So, um, uh, so create Google to uh, document from text, right? So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click on this one. And then we have, I have to connect my Google account. So let's go connect new. And for this one here, I do, uh, we give uh, Zapier the permission to connect us to Google Docs. So I'm gonna choose my accounts. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose my uh, business account here and I'm gonna allow Zapier to have access to my Google account. And then um, for the, uh, the document name, so for here, I can just actually have AI choose a document name or I can decide to choose a specific name myself. For example, I can say uh, content ideas for medium article. Right, so I can choose that. And then for the content itself, we want uh, a AI to, to make that decision. And then for the folder here, it doesn't matter really, but you can choose where you want the document to be saved in the folder if you want. And then this is very, very critical. You have to give this action a specific name because this name is what we'll use to link to my GPT app to tell it specifically what to do. So in here, we can just go create document from Text. So it's very important that you know you make note of the exact information you have there, and then uh, um, so we can show all option again and then enable the action. So now that action is enabled. Again, we can enable hundreds of actions as much as we want. The second action we're going to enable is to connect to Zapier, uh, so connect to Slack. If, uh, pardon me. So here I'm going to go con uh, send send Slack channel. So send Slack channel message. So let's see here. Uh, send channel message. There you go. So there you go. And you can see all the different types of Slack things we can do, actions we can do. But for this one, to keep it simple, we're going to send a Slack channel message. Now, again, I have already connected my own Slack channel account to uh, um, uh, my G uh, to Zapier. So this is quite straightforward. You have to do this if you've not done this already. So I'm going to go connect new just to confirm and make sure that it's all connected properly. So I'm going to go yes, continue to Slack. And then once it's connected to Slack, um, I'm going to actually choose my specific Slack channel, which is this one here. And then I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to allow it to go into my Slack channel. And I'm also going to choose the specific channel that I want this to be in. And I've already created a channel already. So I'm going to find my channel about content. 
so it's gonna find so there you go Arigines channel for content team so that's a specific channel I want you to send that text into and then for the message itself I'm gonna have AI guess value and I can look at all the other options here so you can do a whole bunch of different kind of settings if you want so for now I'm just gonna keep it simple and here I'm just gonna uh, name the action I'm gonna go send uh, uh, content to uh, to my team right that's what I'm gonna name this action and then I'm gonna uh, enable action there you go so simple so we're gonna create a document from uh, from text and we're gonna send the content to my team via slack again by the way you can you know create actions with emails there's so many things you can do but again we're gonna keep this one simple all right now that we've done that let's go back to uh, my GPT so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go into the configure tab and if you see here we already have some things that chat GPT as my GPT has allowed us to do already but we need to add some more instructions and basically these instructions we need to be able to tell it uh, my GPT app needs to be able to know when we want it to reference everything we've done on Zapier and for us to do that we need to go back to these documents here uh, actions of zapier.com slash doc slash platform slash GPT and what they've done here is they've given us specific instructions uh, of rules to tell my GPT app so that it knows when to connect to Zapier. So all we need to do is we need to just copy all of these instructions here. By the way, you don't need to figure out what they are. They already you know if you just go to this uh, to this page, everything is here for you to copy. So all we need to do is copy that and then go in here. We don't need to change anything here or remove anything here. We'll leave that as it is and then we'll paste that. Now, if you see uh, the instructions here, these are the rules that you know we're telling my GPT app to take before it takes any action. But where we want to pay our attention to is required actions. So as you can see here, there are some default actions that have come through here. We're gonna cancel this because this is not the actions we wanna take. We're gonna remove these ones, right? We're gonna remove this. These are not the actions we wanna take. Now we're gonna replace this action and configuration link with the specific actions we wanna take. So we're gonna go back to uh, the actions that we've created. The first action that we wanna create is create document from tax. So all you need to do is click on that and then you want to copy that specific instruction of the app well the name of the action that we've created which is create document from text so we're gonna uh, copy that and we're gonna add this here and then the configuration link uh, that's actually very simple all you have to do is go back to done um, and then you will uh, copy this URL so that is the configuration link for that specific action so anytime you're doing actions you want to take that specific uh, configuration link and then uh, all we need to do is then go back here and paste that configuration link right there pretty simple right and then we're gonna do that same action for do that for the same for the second action which is send content to my team so I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to go all of go here and then I'm going to go uh, send content to my team so I'm gonna copy that action name I'm gonna uh, put it in here and then I'm going to click done and then I'm going to actually I'm going to go back in here I'm going to copy this URL here which is the, um, the the key to this action that I've created on Zapier and I'm going to paste that into the configuration link here boom and I'm done so that's all good to go so I'm going to go close right so now that I've done that all I need to then do is go back in here and this is going to be only published for me for now because um, that's basically what I want so I'm going to I'm going to save it and it's going to be published for me okay now we are ready to test right so i'm going to go um give me uh ideas about um um uh, uh, about marketing for b2b companies on linkedin so on linkedin so the ai is now doing what we've built it to do which is to create content for b2b so um there you go. So it doesn't matter what the content is right now. That's not the focus of this uh, exercise. The focus really is to then take what it's creating right now. And then we're going to then create a Google Doc, put this into a Google document. And then we're going to try and send it to Slack. And of course, you know, that will help us basically have our first AI agent. So that's basically what we're trying to do here. All right. So it's, it's created, giving us ideas, right? So again, for now, we want to try and do too too much with the ideas so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna now deploy all of those actions that i've created so i'm gonna say first put all of this into a google document a google doc form okay so i've already logged in so i'm just gonna say hey i've logged in already 
so that should let me in so now what it's doing is it's starting an action and then as you can see here his talk is talking to zapier and because we've made that connection already and then i have to give it the permission to continue so i'm going to go confirm so it's starting to then take the action of talking to zapier and now it's going to create a document from text so let's watch that in action. It's pretty exciting, right? So you can do this uh, in many ways, but this is very simple. So now it's, let's check out the document you created. So view the Google document. So as you can see here, all of those ideas that we created, marketing ideas for beautiful companies, it's put them for us into a Google document. Again, these are not like not the most revolutionary ideas or anything, but it's done what we've asked it to do. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna say, send this to my Slack channel, my Slack channel for my you know, content team. There. So now that's just the second action that we want Zapier to take. As you can see here is we're talking to Zapier again, it's making that connection, it's starting the action, and then the goal is that it will take this document that we've created and it will send it to my team. Again, we have to give it the permission and go confirm. So it's gonna uh, take that action for us. And you know, this is our simplest version of AI agent. It's doing something on our behalf, which is pretty exciting. This is the new world of AI. So it says the a message has been successfully sent to your content team Slack channel with the link in the Google Drive. So let's go into my Slack here and I'm going to go into my content. So there you go. This is Outreach Genius channel for content team. So it says, hey team, I've compiled a zip, and this is like, you know, literally right now, I've compiled a, a document on marketing ideas available companies on LinkedIn, it's full of insights, boom, boom, and then this is the link to that document, and it's right here. So as you can see, our, you know, GPT agent is in action. We've been able to create uh, some sort of text and information for ideas for us, and then we've been able to use my GPT in here to then create Put that into a google document and then from there send it to my team on slack now again this is a very very simple example but the idea is that this helps you understand how you can leverage my gpt apps in your business for whatever things you want to do in your business you're only limited by your creativity and by the way if you want me to do an example for any sort of automation sequence let me know in the comments and i will create a new video to actually do that for you that's it for this video i hope you've been able to see in a concrete example how you can create a simple MyGPT app to do something specific for you and then take actions beyond MyGPT app to interact with other, uh, other areas of your business or other people on your team. And this is really the future of um, creation, of imagination and creation, which is what I'm all about. If you're interested in learning more about how to leverage your business, then click the subscribe button. Follow me at David Owasi for more content like this. I'll see you soon.